Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today I have an interesting little project right here. This HP server, it's gonna have a graphics cards installed. And this is interesting because I've been messing around with installing graphics cards in servers for a while. Mostly my old IBMs, but this one is actually gonna be used professionally with a graphics card. And they have even uh, decided to use a gaming card, like this is the GeForce 960. And it's gonna go into this server and it's gonna be used professionally for some streaming. Um, I can't tell you what, but it's a professional streaming across the country here in Denmark. So someone else is gonna be sitting and watching some video that is streamed from this server. And it's gonna be pretty high end actually. Um, it's gonna be installed with Red Hat, which I'm not gonna be doing either. So this video is just gonna be about putting the graphics card in the server and I will deliver it onto the next guy that um, is gonna do the next part of the job. So, But we're gonna be putting in the graphics card. I got this server like 14 days back and I was over here in this data center. We, we have actually never been here before and I can't show you very much of it because Security is a bit tighter here. So here is the inside of the HP server. And as standard, this server just comes with one CPU, right? And with one CPU comes one PCI Razor card like this. And an empty bay over here. So when you get the other CPU, uh, yeah, this is number two, you can put in the second PCI riser card over here. And even though this uh, computer came with two CPUs, they had only put in one riser card. So, um, and let's, let's just see the problem here. Here is the graphics card. And it has a power cable and this should be fitting on the server. Uh, this came separately. It's not able to fit over here. As you can see it's, it's sticking outside of the case and that's absolutely no good. So uh, it should be able to fit down here, I'm hoping, otherwise we'll have to think of something. But now I have the second riser card here which just came in. So I'm very much hoping that this is the right one. It definitely looks well it's, yeah it looks different than the other one so hopefully that's good. Oops. So that should go there. And I'll just unplug power to this server before I start messing up stuff. There we are. The uh, second thing I found last time I was here was that I didn't have the right screwdriver. So I brought my own screwdriver set here uh, and hopefully I'll find a bit. It was actually this thing over here, the back thing, that um, I couldn't get out of there. So let's uh, try and find a bit that fits. The, with the right tool that wasn't really a problem and I'll just um, these screws are absolutely tiny and I'll just put them back in so that they don't get lost uh, I might have to use this some other day let's see if this thing fits it looks good yeah that, that looks good. I'll take it up again and put in the graphics card and see how that does. So there is two slots. Um, yeah, I probably forgot to tell you what server this is. This is an HP DL380 Generation 9. And this is the riser card, the second riser card for it. And uh, do uh, notice that there is a big 
nice power plug right there and there is two PCI Express X16s and one X8 down here and they actually says here that this is um, X16 right there and the same thing here and that's an X8 let's put in the graphics card and there is this blue easy release thing okay so I think we want this as high as possible I think this can only sit one way and that's at the top it has to go in this way so it can only fit in the second slot here but it does seem to that it will fit very well Okay, there it is. That took a bit of fiddling like that. So that seems to be okay for now. I'm gonna close this one so that it doesn't pull back out. And the cable goes right into this one. So that's very simple, right? And then this entire thing just goes down onto the system board. And it has these uh, ears here that is used to fasten it so but let's install this So I had to do some um, changes on this. This plastic thing will not fit there with the graphics card in. And this thing, which is actually for the LED, uh, the, the things that you open the cabinet with, I had to uh, remove that with a high precision violence. So uh, I took those two off and now I think it should be good. I'll mount the print back on here. I took that off too. Otherwise, um, yeah, I could probably just have left it there, but I didn't want to break that. This is luckily a very cheap part of the system. So should I break it, it wouldn't be the biggest mistake of my life. So put back in some screws and that. The problem is that this graphics card is too big to go in there with, with the things that was on the back of this. Good thing I turned off the server, right? So now this thing should go in Well, it, it did go in before but now there should be enough room for the graphics card This is not optimal but I do think it will be good enough. So, there we are. I'll just fasten these. Precision violent tools. Now this HPDL 380 Generation 9 is equipped with this GeForce GTX 960 which is a gaming card but it's going to be used as a high performance um, thing here I hope well that ended up being a much more interesting video I thought it would just slide in there but no 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 it has to make all kind of problems so I have to use the big tool I actually used a screwdriver to put out to take out the nipples of it well it's right over here let's slide on the case and see if now there's nothing to lock it in place, but I 
think that will be okay. So nothing to... Well, can't win them all, can you? I hope the system is better on the Lenovo. But, um, well, this is the HP anyway, so... Well, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again doing different stuff next time. And I'll put this back in. I need to put on some power on it, but... Um, well, yeah, have a nice day. Bye-bye.